And you're listening to Up to Speed here on CBC Radio 1. I'm Marjorie Dowhouse. Well, the autumn leaves have mostly fallen. And uh, if you're in Manitoba, the snow has too. And so have many of the teams uh, in the Canadian Football League. It's the semi, it's semi-final time, starting with two games this Saturday. Hamilton takes on Montreal, and Calgary takes on BC. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers get a first-round bye for finishing tops in the West and won't be in action again until November 11th. A victory on the gridiron means one step closer to getting to the CFL's Holy Grail, the Grey Cup. For more on the teams in action this weekend and the players who might be making a difference, we've reached Greg Strong. He's a sports reporter with the Canadian Press. Hi, Greg. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, good. So Saturday is a big, big day for CFL fans. Let's start with the Hamilton-Montreal game. What are you expecting in that matchup? Yeah, an interesting one. I mean, the Tiger Cats, 8-10 and 10 season, rather so-so record, and they've got a unsettled quarterback situation with no clear number one. So it'll be interesting to see what happens on the road against a pretty solid Montreal team that's finished 11-7 and seven on the season. And was certainly confident uh, with Hamilton rolling in, uh, knowing that the the Owls have won all three of their matchups, uh, head-to-head matchups this season. Um, Cody Fajardo, the uh, Montreal quarterback, had a solid second half in particular, led the Owls to five straight wins. I think they're uh, they're a good bet to advance, and the winner of that game, of course, will meet Toronto in the East Division final. Now, this year's Grey Cup will be in Hamilton. Uh, a victory on Saturday for the Ticats would mean uh, one step closer to playing at home for the title. How much of an incentive is that? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, a little a little spring in their step, uh, knowing that uh, two victories will ensure that they get to play at home for a Grey Cup. But it's a pretty tall order, I think, for uh, a Tiger Cat squad that's, you know, had a so-so season and to go in and get two big road wins against a solid Montreal team and then an Argonauts team that had one of the greatest seasons in CFL history. That's going to really be something to see the Tiger Cats get to play in front of their home crowd for the championship. That being said, of course, they want to get back there. They made it in 2021, but of course, uh, couldn't get past the Bombers that year. So, uh, you know, they, uh, Obviously, it will be on their minds, but uh, a pretty stiff challenge. Now, uh, let's move over to, to the West Semi here because a lot of Bombers fans will be watching this one very closely. Calgary versus BC, how do those two teams stack up? Yeah, this one really looks like a mismatch to me on paper anyway. Uh, the Lions of home field, 12-6 and six season, you know, really solid campaign, Vernon Adams Jr., leading the way with almost 5,000 passing yards. So really strong campaign. Stamps just 6-12, and 12, squeaked their way into the playoffs, just three road wins this season. Um, you know, I'm sure they have a little bit of confidence knowing that they defeated the Lions late in the season rather handily, but of course they put a big asterisk on that one. With BC's playoff position already secure, you know, resting some players, not as, uh, not as pumped up as they would be for a regular matchup. So um, I really think BC will win quite handily. And then, as you mentioned, uh, the winner gets a date with the Blue Bombers for the uh, West Division crown. Uh, Greg, um, let's talk about now that the TV ratings uh, for the CFL haven't been great lately. What's your take on that in the health of the league uh, in general right now? Yeah, I think in general terms, the league's in pretty good spot. I mean, still trying to work on the foundation that was eroded a little bit during the pandemic. Uh, it was a tough stretch for the league, of course. They're still trying to build on that. And, yeah, the ratings, you know, take them for what they're worth. In 2023, you know, it can be tough to figure out viewership, given that so many people are watching games and sports so many different ways on so many different screens. I think the uh, the way they generate the ratings is somewhat outdated to begin with years ago uh, and hasn't improved that much. So, um also, I think when it comes to ratings, you can't really look at the at the end of the regular season. And I've seen the recent reports that they're down. It's um, you know the teams themselves aren't that pumped for late regular season matchups when they don't mean much when playoff position is already settled. So I think if you're going to look at viewership as a whole and, and look at the trends, I think it might be best to wait until the end of the postseason and then compare the numbers and see how things look. Uh, but health of the league, not too bad. Uh, certainly some attendance woes. Uh, most notably in Edmonton, which had a, such a tough first half there in, in Toronto. I mean, still a first-place team. They cannot draw 
at BMO Field, and it's been a storyline for years. Uh, of course, uh, Greg, we can't let you go without some predictions. Uh, so which teams do you see emerging from the playoff grid and, and making it to the Grey Cup? Yeah, I'm going to go with the safe pick here, and of course it's an easy one. I mean, I really think we'll have a Grey Cup rematch, Winnipeg and Toronto, in a couple weeks down in Steeltown. Uh, you know, the Blue Bombers and, and Argonauts, were an easy favorite at the start of the season and then went on to show that they really are the class of their respective divisions. I really think they're on a collision course here, but let's, let's enjoy these semifinal matchups and, uh, and see who gets through. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have the division finals uh, after that. And I think uh, it's just an exciting time to be a football fan. Love the CFL brand of football. This should be a really uh, an exciting month. Well, Greg, let's hope that your Grey Cup prediction is right, because a lot of Blue Bomber fans would, of course, love to hear that. Um, Greg, thank you so much for joining us today here on the show. Okay, thanks. Take care. That is Greg Strong, a sports reporter with the Canadian Press. Now, are you watching the CFL? Will you be watching the CFL playoffs? Are you invested? Are you not invested? We want to hear from you. Give our listener line a call here on Up to Speed, 204-788-3663. Again, that is 204-788-3663. Are you invested in the CFL playoffs? Will you be watching or maybe not watching? Let us know.